Hola good people, welcome back to my channel where today I am going to be a little experimental. Now I mentioned that I was in that phase already on my channel um, in my last video and I really meant it so I decided that this video I would be experimenting with foam rollers. So I love sets, I have been curling my hair that way for very near a decade. I learned how to do it first from uh, Cherry Dollface here on YouTube. I'm pretty sure she still makes videos. She's a fantastic creator, so definitely check her out. So I learned how to curl my hair in sets from that channel initially, and it was the curling iron method where you curl your hair and then you pin it and then you let it cool. And I'm gonna be honest, I still think that that method, at least for my hair, keeps the curl in the longest. And I am really looking forward to when this damn heat changes so that I can just put my hair in sets again because I'm going to be honest I really don't like using foam rollers now how I use them I don't actually use this um, plastic part I take them off and just roll my hair around it and use some duckbill clips just because I can never not get a weird crease in my hair um, so I haven't thrown them away though because I don't want these to end up in a whale's blow hole so I haven't figured out what I'm going to do but I'm probably going to incorporate them into a project at some point. If you have any ideas on what you do with these, let me know. So even with all of that being said, even with the methods that I use, these aren't my favorite things to have in my hair just because um, they take forever to dry. My hair doesn't even completely dry when I use them, it doesn't matter how long I wear them. Um, even if I sleep in them, there's always going to be a tiny bit of moisture. But even with all of that, they're just really hard for me personally to sleep on. My It pulls my hair and um, I'm not usually very sensitive with that, but for some reason it just gets me in a way that I really, really fucking hate. So I, I guess you could say I have a real problem with foam rollers. <laughs> um, <laughs> But they're still useful and I still get a decent curl um, and I can just, on a, I've been wearing my hair up most of the summer anyways. really just need the front part to be curled. Um, so I can't be too mad at them. But I feel like I could probably make myself some and um, get some content while I'm at it. So <laughs> that's what this video is about. Uh, I had the idea like last week when I was putting these in my hair, I figured that I could probably crochet them. These are not expensive. I got these at the dollar store. This is just purely for the sake of experimentation. I wanted to see if it was better to have fabric curlers or crochet curlers. And this is the video that I came up with. So I tend to sew and crochet a lot. Um, I crochet a lot more than I sew because it's just something that I'm a little bit more comfortable with. But I figured for this video I would try both methods and pin them against each other. I've been thinking on this for a while um, and I just thought it would be a little fun and see if it's actually better if you make your own curlers. I'm not going to spoil whether or not it was, but we're going to find out. I figured that I would use two um, mediums, either sewing or crocheting, and I did three sewing methods and two crochet methods, and these are the methods. So for the crochet portion of this, the first method that I did was I basically chained a certain amount. I believe I chained six, I may have chained eight. Um, don't go any shorter than that because then you, it won't hold in your hair or you'll have to take smaller pieces of your hair. So the longer the better, that's what I've learned in this project. And it was super simple, all I did was crochet to the length that I wanted or I guess the thickness that I would want and rolled it up, sewed down the sides and it was very easy to make them, they didn't take very long at all, I think it took maybe five minutes uh, to make four of them and it was really fun. I enjoyed it. The second method that I did was what I call the granny square method. Basically, I just did exactly that. I made a granny square and I rolled it up like a burrito sewing down the side. I thought that these were prettier than the first ones, but they are definitely more tedious. This 
Um, now we are past that, we are on to sewing methods that I used. The first method that I did was I sewed up a pocket and I stuffed that pocket with fabric scraps that I have. I call it coleslaw. Um, if you watch Bernadette Banner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're just basically uh, leftover fabric scraps from other projects. And yeah, I rolled that up too and sewed down the sides. Uh, the only thing that I would recommend is definitely, definitely making the um, portion that you roll up as long as you can. Because I made it too short. Second sewing method that I did, I just stacked some scraps on each other and I rolled them up just like the other two or if you have the crochet method three or four and I sewed down the sides. Oh I think I sewed down the sides for all of them. My bad. The third method, which is the final one, um, was what I like to call the bendy method because I added wire to it. I just made a pretty much lemon shape and I added wire and I stuffed it. I didn't stuff it as much as I did the first pocket method just because I didn't want it to be super poofy, but you can definitely stuff it with more if you wanted to. I stuffed very loosely because I knew for the majority of my projects they would be stacked on each other and that was going to add to the bulk. That's definitely something to keep in mind when you're making your curlers with any of these methods. Alrighty, good morning. Um, I took the day off yesterday and went to the beach with my family, so I am feeling a little hungover, but I had a lot of fun and it was a good way to just kind of end the summer because I know that we are not going to be going to the beach again. It is definitely a process. Um, so I made five of each of the different methods that I used and I'll show you my favorites in terms of methodology but I'm gonna test them out to see just how user-friendly they are and um, see if I get any different types of curls from different, from you know, the different methods. I don't really think that I'm gonna get that much indifference except for the ones that bend, but even then, I'm not too sure. So, my hair is almost kind of dry. I actually need to stop talking and get started. Um, and, oh, I might need to wet my hair, shit. Be right back. Today I am going to be testing out the rollers. Um, my hair is a little damp. I kind of look like a wet poodle because I had to put a little bit more water in, but I need to stop looking at the viewfinder anyway, so there we go. Um, so I am going to test them out today. Uh, I am looking to, to see how they fare in terms of ease of use as well as maybe I'll get a different type of curl like in terms of size. But I don't think I will because I really tried to make them all roughly the same size because I had certain hairstyles in mind with those uh, dimensions. So yeah, before my hair completely dries out, we're going to do that right now. Um, I made five of each. I don't think I'll need all five from each, but um, I will at least put two of each in my hair. So yeah, all right.
All right, so um, these are dry and I'm ready to take them out. I have a clear least favorite right off the bat. Um, it's the first ones that I made. Uh, they could be useful. They're very tight. So, I mean, if you wanted a good tight small curl, you could, but I made them way, way too short and they just kept falling out of my hair. And so, yeah, these are definitely the losers. Um, as for the rest, couldn't tell you. It does give a decent curl though. It's like, it's like a pretty little spiral. Um, so yeah, let's take these one, let's take one of these down so I can show you this one. Okay, yeah, that's a decent curl. It looks better off camera, but yeah, that's a pretty good curl. It's pretty tight. It's what to be expected. My hair tends to keep as much moisture as it possibly can, so I can never get my curls completely dry. But uh, in terms of this, my curl feels actually pretty close to dry. It feels very tight. It feels like it might hold that shape. So yeah. All right, let's take one of these out pretty sure that the crochet ones are going to be pretty much the same result. Oh. I think because these are thinner, they're a slightly smaller curl, but like it's not even noticeable on camera probably. So there's not like a huge difference. Pretty cool. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll use one of these. Okay, so this is one of the wire ones. And that's a pretty decent curl, too. Um, like I said, I didn't think there was going to be much difference. Um, I think I'm going to stop analyzing the curls now before I bore us all to death. Let me just take these down. Alright, so that's the curls um they still feel a little damp i am going to douse it in hairspray and style it it's probably going to go up because it is again very very hot it's probably going to be that way until october for my area uh but yeah so i am going to just do my hair then i'm going to do the outro and get this video done um i had a lot of fun doing this video actually uh, i don't know if it's going to get any views but it was really fun to experiment on something like this it, it really was like kind of just an idea that i was like well might as well try it and i had a lot of fun doing it now i'm going to stop saying that i had fun and uh transition <laughs> It looks like I did a lot of work on this, right? No. Just don't look at the back. Pay attention to the front. Um, <laughs> so stupid. So, uh, we're pretty much at the end of the video. I'm going to just tell you what methods I liked the most and the one I liked the least. Obviously, I kind of spoiled it already. The first method was the hardest. It's not that I don't think that it can't work because um, they're very dense if you like a dense roller you might like this method it's just I feel like it's a little tedious to have to stuff it and roll it when you can just layer some fabric on each other and roll it that way uh, but that didn't come to me until much much later so this was good for a prototype but it's not my favorite method and it's not the method that I would recommend um, Second best, uh, it's going to sound a little more, more positive because I think all the rollers actually did pretty good besides prototype. Um, I guess this one, just simply because, again, um, it's just not necessary. And I do feel like these are going to end up popping out at some point. So unless I secure it, which I don't really want to do, I'm probably going to end up having these unravel and might need to do something with them. Um, the only fabric one that really held up, surprisingly, was the wire ones. And these were just a little experiment because I was feeling nostalgic. Uh, my mom bought, I think they were from Conair. Um, she got foam rollers like these when I was a kid. And um, 
she just figured that they would be easier to sleep on and they were. I was very spoiled because I cannot sleep in my foam rollers, which is why I tend to do my wet sets during the day, which is why I really hate wet sets. But I'll probably make a few more of these. I, I might just make me a set for any time I want to just go to sleep because they are comfortable, they bend, they're flatter, and you still get a pretty decent curl. And honestly, that'll give my hair the time to dry because I don't want to be in curlers all damn day. I really don't. <laughs> I'd rather just sleep through the whole process. So these were my winner in the fabric category for sure. If you are more comfortable with sewing or you don't know how to crochet, try making these. They'll be really easy. Um, and you don't need to do that wire trick I did. That's just the, the wire that I had available to me and I needed to make it thicker so that it felt like I could actually bend them. Um, just a little FYI, if you don't want to use any pins at all and you just want to be able to tie these, make them longer. Definitely make them longer because I will definitely have to pin them, but yeah, these are definitely my fave. So, um, in the sewing category because I honestly love these. I am better at crocheting. I'm able to make things a lot more uniform. Um, sewing is still kind of a new thing to me. I can sew a lot of things by hand, but I'm still trying to learn my sewing machine and it's coming along. It, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, but crocheting, I've been doing it for over a decade at this point. It's something that I did while I was homeschooled and it's just stayed with me. So these are my favorite methods, just crocheting them. They're very quick. They're very fun. They're very cute. Um, and you can stick your duckbill clips right through them. It doesn't matter which one you use and they will be secure. Again, I feel like I could probably sleep on these and um, I bet you you could probably make crochet versions of the bendy um, ones, but you would definitely have to slip stitch the entire thing and that doesn't sound fun at all. So I just didn't do it because there's always going to be a chance with crochet things that the wire is going to stick out. That's the only reason I didn't do it. But if anybody wants to try that method out, I definitely welcome you to it because I'm sure it can be done. Uh, in terms of the two different methods that I used, I think the one where I just crocheted a panel and then rolled that panel was the best one because this, it just, it, it kind of seemed unnecessary after I made these. I should have tried this method first and then done this, but it, yeah, I mean, you could totally do it. It's kind of prettier if you really look at it, but I, it wasn't my favorite. I think um, it's, I'm definitely going to make more. So I think that when I make more, I'm going to do this method um, because they stay secure. They have the little holes. They look uniform. They look very classic, especially in that classic pink that, you know, you see in all the cartoons and stuff. Um, so I don't know why I'm being so loud. Sorry, <laughs> but I, I'm really excited. I actually am happy that it, it, I found a few good methods and one that I'm probably going to use the most is going to be this one, but I am definitely going to probably make some more wire ones. With all of that being said, I think we are at the end of the video. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you.